protesters outside Racket Hall who do not want asylum seekers or refugees moved into the building have clashed with Gardaí today. One man was arrested and subsequently uh, released without charge. And there is some chatter online in the darker corners of the internet about a much more serious protest uh, tonight. Uh, people actively seeking a confrontation with the Gardaí. I'm not going to do uh, the work for those protesters, for them, uh, the work for them by telling you exactly when and where or what they are planning. But you don't have to dig too deep in the internet uh, to find it. And because we've been talking about it on the show as usual, it has elicited a strong response from people, with many pointing out how unfair it is to label everybody protesting in Ross Grey as far right. And all of those texters are correct. It is absolutely unfair. And listen, maybe I've been guilty of it myself sometimes in terms of throwaway remarks. There can be lots of reasons people might be out on the street protesting, lots of reasons people in Ross Grey or elsewhere might be angry with government and this is how they choose to express that anger. They're not all proto-fascists. At the same time, it is naive to suggest that everybody protesting has a quote-unquote legitimate concern. And I mention the more serious protests being talked about tonight. Again, I'm not doing their work for them, but you can find on the likes of Telegram some of these groups that are organising it. They're not talking about Racket Hall in terms of a community losing a hub, a community hub for holding christenings or confirmations or weddings or any other type of gathering. They're talking about handing out stickers to people protesting that carry messages like, get them out, Ireland used to be safer, Illegal immigrants stabbing Irish children. Will it be your mother next? Will it be your daughter next? Stop the plantation. Traitors in Dáil Éireann. Those are not people with legitimate concerns. So I just think we have to be grown up about this. You cannot call people names, but at the same time, we can't tiptoe around it. And if these people are amongst the protesters, they should be called out. And you know what? The people protesting in Ross Grey who do have those so-called legitimate concerns, even if I might disagree with some of them, they should be calling out those people amongst them. If there's somebody there handing out a sticker saying illegal immigrants stabbing Irish children and your concern is that you're losing a place to hold a community wedding or a confirmation, you should be calling out that person as well. You should not want to stand shoulder to shoulder with them. And I mean... It's impossible not to look at some of the images today and Eamon mentioned the, the, the clashes as well. But amidst all those clashes, some families were moved into Racket Hall uh, and it included women and children. And it's impossible not to see it and think of uh, Holy Cross. Remember Holy Cross in the Ardoin where Catholic school children had to be shepherded into the school, kind of cowering against the loyalist protests who wanted them moved out. I mean, it was impossible not to look at that and feel, not feel sympathy for the children. Uh, and I would suggest that the people we should feel sympathy for in Ross Grey are the children who had to go into Racket Hall the same way those kids in Holy Cross had to go into their school. 